For a lot of people, they could find a lot of motion sickness in this game. Such fluid animation of multiple buildings flying up and down certainly leaves you to a bit of discourse. New Eden Square. Just Mr. Rossignol. I bet we could have something arranged. <laughs> Mr. Rossignol, you are terrible. Morning. Good to see you. Thanks for the pop. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the hot dog, buddy. Perfect day for the celebration. Father Comstock must have foreseen and planned it just this way. Transcript of the prophet's recent address to you, the Colombian people, on the holy forgiveness of our dear lady Comstock, our beloved mother of forgiveness. Interesting. And yes, there is a lot of talking. Like. I just think it fails to capture Father Comstock's absolute, you know, divinity. I'm pretty sure it does. Psalm stalls all right, I tell you. Says he's for faith, family, and fatherland. Who could be against all that? So, why are they propositioning women like this? Maybe it was a very common thing of the 1910s? I don't know. But, you know, whatever, it's part of the time period, just one of these cultural things that British people don't understand. Because we're so ignorant. Some of this. That's all clothing store. Never hire an artist, my dear fellow. They are a temperamental and unreliable lot to a man. Uh huh. I told him that the park is exceedingly far behind schedule. The the, the landscaping is half finished. The, the statuary hasn't arrived. The fountain is full of rainwater. For God's sake, even the marigolds are still unplanted. All work which should have been done months ago. Uh-huh. Do you know what he told me? He said that he was tired, that, that the work had taken much from him. I said, good God, man, don't tell me about details, just get it done. Mm-hmm. You almost finished down there? Yes, sir. She's trying to don't give no fucks. So we'll see around here. Oh, it's one of those kinetoscopes, the ones that tell us little movies. And yes, they are classically silent. Father Comstock's gift of the prophecy. In the midst of the darkest storm. The great prophet foresees bright sunshine, and lo, it appears. What will the great prophet reveal next? Our prophet. They're generally no, basically no longer than that. Let's see what else we can find around here before we move on. Don't worry, we'll get to the action fairly soon. And then the archangel showed a vision. A city, lighter than air. I asked her, why do you show this to me, Archangel? I'm not a strong man. I'm not a righteous man. I am not a holy man. And she told me the most remarkable thing. You're right, Prophet. But if grace is within the grasp of one such as you, how can anyone else not see it in themselves? The tower protects the lamb from the false shepherd. Who could this false shepherd be? It's totally not us. Definitely not. No way, no sir. But I guess that's where we're supposed to be heading. Kurt's Grocery and Meats. Farm fresh, Comstock approved. As they say in quotation marks. And when I saw this, the first thing that popped into my head is, I'm Commander Comstock, and this is my favourite store on the Citadel. I just wish you would come down here and say that just this once. Oh well. There are so many beautiful stores that just really embellish the, the time period this is in. Even the horses, they're so 1912. Despite being, you know, electronic. After the victory and wounded knee, the angel of Columbia did present herself to Father Comstock and show him a vision of the future. And so our prophet led the people away from the Sodom below. Good 
luck at the raffle, folks. Sounds harmless enough. Taking the right event to attend on a day like today is serious business, you know. Yes. Can't be everywhere at once. <laughs> You'll always miss something. That's why we're going to the raffle. I have a good feeling this year. It's definitely a time for celebration. Columbia but... Raffle and Fair. Huh. Oh. That's that. I was about to ask, what kind of event is it? But it's a raffle and fair. I believe there is actually, um, around this time period, there was some sort of great, like, American affair that happened around this He's time. strong in the sword, but a bit weak in the key and the scroll, if you get my meaning. So you mean he just sucks at everything but fighting? Old school grocery? Warm temperatures and oh, nice nice variable well. winds throughout the afternoon. In short, a beautiful day for the festivities, Columbia. And now, back to the music. Let me just uh, help myself to a few things around here. The honor system, you say? I wonder what the honor system may be. Oh. Let's have a gander. What else is there for us to pilfer? Right, maybe we should pay for our, uh, our tributes. Here we go. <laughs> just kidding! The False Shepherd Who seeks only girl? to lead the lamb astray. What kind of face is that on the lamb? I'm not even going to ask. Beware the False Shepherd! Apparently, seeks to lead our lamb astray. Who is the False Shepherd? Is it him? Is it him? Or him? Is it you? Only our vigilance protects the lamb from the false shepherd. At Monument Isle. Good enough, I suppose. Interesting. Would you care for a boutonniere? We're raising money for the girls' patriotic league. I'll get a boutonniere if you get what I'm saying. You go dashing with one in your lapel. Come back if you change your mind. Maybe later. I've got better things to be doing, like rescuing chicks. It's one of those classic video game tropes I hear are all the rage these days. One man into the waters of baptism, a different man comes out, born again. But who is that man who lies submerged? Perhaps that swimmer is both sinner and saint, until he is revealed onto the eyes of man. Oh. Baptism seems to be a very strong symbolism in this series. Columbia's gayest quartet, the music of tomorrow today. What a peculiar phrase. I am that kind of talk, friend. That kind of talk draws attention. Oh, don't turn into some faint and radical on me, John. I do not want to be some character out of I Married a Box Popular, now do I? Interesting. So many things being said, but so little to understand just at this moment. Huh. Yeah, that's where they said I'd find her. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt! Huh. Oh, thank you. Telegram for you, sir. I'm surprised they knew I was here. DeWitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence, stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number 77, stop. Lutess. So it seems like we have a friend here on the island. His name is Lutess. Could mean anything, really. We could use these, but it doesn't really show us a whole lot. The telescopes are kind of useless. Oh my. Don't mind me just sticking my hand in the trash can, if you get what I'm saying. My good day to you, sir. Hello. That's very nice of you. 
Booker almost seems a little bit dumbfounded by someone being so friendly as they would just simply talk to a stranger passing by. She's some kind of beauty. You know, that's where all the immigrants used to pass through. Wish they still allowed average Janes and Joes to enter. You know, you gotta be somebody now. So it seems like ways to get onto the island are fairly limited. Great! Sounds like we're off to a great start so far. Exactly what I wanted to hear. I apologize if the commentary seems just a little bit thin, but unfortunately there is just so much to listen to, so much to do in the first section, but there'll be plenty more Badger talk to be coming. I agree. You keep saying that. Should we go in? These amazing wonders. Praise be to our prophet, and praise be to our fair city. If I told you a man could shoot lightning from his fingers now, would you believe me? If I told you a man could hoist a one ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? Well, friends, I am here today to tell. Those are no flights of fancy. Those are no tall tales told behind the pool hall. No, sir, no, ma'am. Those are vigors I'm talking about. Brought to you courtesy of Mr. Jeremiah Fink himself. Who amongst you has tasted the divine gift of the vigor? One swig and feats of wonderment are at the tips of your fingers. You know our prophet is fair. You know our prophet is kind, and he has asked, personally asked Mr. Jeremiah Fink to bring to you these amazing wonders. Praise be to our prophet, and praise be to our fair city. Interesting. So, there's no longer plasmids, but vigor. They will, will definitely actually know. Young, young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of bucking bronco. Before well, I even get to say anything. Bucking Bronco is just the ticket. Find I'll show you about Bucking Bronco. So now this is basically like a little bit of a tutorial area displayed in a sort of mini-game fashion. That's left trigger to, dis to use the vigor. Oops, wrong person. My bad. Damn it. So you've got to be particularly careful with this. I've always found aiming the vigors a little bit on the tricky side. So this is a little bit of demonstration for Bucking Bronco that we won't be seeing for a little bit of time yet, actually. Fantastic. And remember, if you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is your answer. Sounds particularly dangerous, if you ask me. See them villains zipping around, spreading their lies and dissent? Fear not! I got just secure. Grab a shotgun and go to work. You there. You got what it takes to keep our city safe. Good Damn right I do. Now take aim and blast those evil box out of the sky. Hit enough and I'll get you a fry. Sure, why not? Can't be so hard. You don't even have to reload because it's an air shotgun. Seriously powerful for something that is fueled by fucking oxygen. Unfortunately, I've found with this minigame, you actually don't always get enough to shoot 20 people. I swear to God, for that entire duration, I shot every target that showed up. Unless I'm blind and I miss something in particular. Just give me a moment, I need to get good at this. And first place, give me that. Sweet! And there are many more attractions to be seen. Oh, let's give this a try, shall we? 
my kind of play. Oh, that was easy. I was expecting some sort of prize, but I guess not. Being honest, I'm just going to brush past these. I just want to have a look at these kids that are smoking. The horses don't actually play any sort of integral role into the story, so there's absolutely no reason to pay attention to them. Interesting. Have you used one yet? Oh my, no. I have. Liar. Honestly, nearly blew the windows out of my house. Hot dogs, hot dogs, Alexander hot dogs, Columbia's finest, worth every cent. It's strange how they're so hot, nationalistic, yet have Columbia names like Park. Alexander Hello, about. They're English. The past in the present. What's a voxophone? What's a voxophone? Exactly that! A personal record of voice. Hey, just so we're clear, I'm not paying for this. Just a demonstration, sir. Huh. Fairly accusatory. Any of the new vigors here today? I usually wait till Fink works out the kinks with them. It's safer that way. And so it displays that some vigors might actually be experimental. By hunting down Daisy Fitzroy and the vile members of the Vox Populi. Shoot the targets, earn the points, win the prize. That's definitely been a very much... It's, it's very yes, much been a, uh, a recurring theme for the Vox Populi and this Daisy Fitzroy character to show up, so I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of them in the future. Here's a brave fellow. Yes, I'm pretty familiar with the fact. Shouldn't be too hard. Come on, let's go. Don't have to reload, so be careful about that. Fitzroy slain, you sir shall be richly rewarded. Thank you kindly. And a vending machine. Vendi Vidi Vigors. And unfortunately, the only thing that they have is actually bucking Bronco. And that costs three hundred dollars, and we are sure as hell not getting that anytime soon. Fucking plenty, if you ask me. It's almost like the sister. What is it? Was this from King Kong, where they took pictures of it and it sent him into a frenzy? Yeah, let's keep an eye on him, shall we? Have you ever lost a penny to a vending machine? Has a pay telephone ever refused to connect you with a beloved spouse? Well, it's time to take back control from the men of metal. With possession, you are the master. You will bend any machine to your will. Oh yeah, I'm into that idea. One of those. With just a whisper, they're all ears. Why do you look up at the sky when you do that? It's kind of unsettling. <laughs> not that the fact that I'm completely fucking tripping balls is not unsettling. Pleasant. Press to turn machines into allies. And just like the old Bioshocks, we are treated to a very small animation towards the end, well, towards gaining new abilities to describe to us what they do. 
the hell was that? Hmm. But before we really make use of anything, there is one use that this thing can do that is actually kind of, you know, not immediately noticeable. Cha-ching! Oh yeah, it got us like two dollars. Amazing. That's exactly what this is for, but you do get a little bit more cash out of it next time. Four flavors. That many? What's wrong with good old vanilla? Really? You're impressed by four flavors? They don't even have mint chocolate chip. How can they be? Weakness for this ice cream business. How to sailor? What port do you call home? Get it poured in the storm. You know what I mean? No. I'm out of here. Well, if it isn't Assemblyman Buford, your spot at the raffle awaits. Don't know why I didn't recognize you before. Odd. Always good to have gentlemen of your caliber at our fine fairgrounds. Interesting. Heads. Or tails. Come on, let me through. Heads. Or tails. Huh. Hmm. These two sound oddly familiar. Like the two on the boat. Heads. Told you. Hmm. I never find that as satisfying as I'd imagined. Chin up. There's always next time. I suppose there is. So whatever it is, it's um... It seems like they've rigged some sort of coin flipping contest. But they always choose heads. Did really that many people pass through? Look at that one. He looks lost. <laughs> he looks just fine to me. Mary, you are a living, walking scandal. Oh my. So even his 40s, the booker is looking in the fit of hell. There is just so much conversation to listen to. My god. My role model? Why, Lady Comstock, of course. The prophet, bless her and keep her. Oh, that poor woman. Interesting. People have some very uh, unique perceptions, all very uniform. This little beauty? Ah, the whole division got them. If we're gonna flush the Vox out of the Skyline system, uh, we gotta have the best. Uh, they got any openings in the group? I'd love to bust some Vox skull. <laughs> Interesting. This seems actually like a good place to take a break. We've already been playing for quite some time, so I'll see you on the next edition of Bioshock Infinite, everybody. Don't forget to give me your thumbs, subscribe, and all that business. Peace out, everybody. See you up in the sky.